the two halves of the fuselage there's been a great deal of care taken to make sure that these things match up perfectly with a bit of a jig here Historic moment. Okay, so we've got a lot of key to line yeah. up. That's not a bad line. This side's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we got Dominique's um, design this. Uh, well, it's, it's really cockpit that section. Yeah, it's that fit. We're cutting it's out there. a hole. Doesn't matter well, that doesn't look straight. Yeah, it's not yet. It's it's massive. That's because it's not. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. This is trial and error. I'm just creeping up on the measurement. Mm. Oh, okay. That's how I do everything. Creep up on the measurement. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the spark up with the uh, laser, and uh, just to indicate what the wing is going to look like in dimension. <laughs> it's huge. <Big. laughs> look at that. He's consulting the planners. Yeah. <laughs> the fuselage is so almost there. Go with the spar. But it seems to, yeah. So I mean, we don't have the Maybe on the leading edge. The very no, much. Yeah, yeah, I know the black ones. Due now, actually. Yeah. Because it's easy to change it here. Yeah. Quite too. Out here, we've got the ironing club. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez, you, you're both getting into the same machine. Getting a bit warm out here. Getting a bit warm. I'm afraid the air conditioning's a bit uh, ordinary. Well, this is the fuselage so far. Maybe it doesn't look that much different to the last time you saw it at first glance, but there's actually been a lot of work done in filling and sanding, there's still more filling and sanding to be done to get this shape just right. This is our detachable tail end section. Have a closer look at the front end, beautiful hole shape. See that? We zoom in. But, um, Going to fiberglass the we'll hole. We'll just do the main part of the hole. Today, this, tonight. And then use more layers of finer stuff. On, that's the know, glass. Parts. Yeah, that's possible too. Sort of these are the, like, um, the glass can just be built up. It's not a, not a These are the Depron tail fins. Yeah. These are um, a couple of inner you know, wing, wing sections that we've um, cut with the automated um, hot wire. It was fun doing that calculation. <laughs> okay, we're uh, we've been looking at the wing. <laughs> we're doing some fiberglassing on the fuselage here. We've got the wing sections, setting up a guillotine to cut the wing dihedral to shape. But I think there was just an issue there. <laughs> so we've got the first coat of fiberglass on the hole. Going back around the step here. When I lofted the airfoil, I and over here, there's so the lots of deliberations down. over getting well, the uh, dihedral yeah, cut right for the centre section of the wing. Otherwise, it would be a slab. This this has to be done really accurately, Brian. Right? Really? Can you uh, explain what's going on here, uh, Tim? Yeah, no, no, we're no. about to stuff up the dihedral. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it was> like <laughs> that. <laughs> Confidence, yeah, confidence. Because it's so this is cutting the wing, and and there are the, this section which isn't part of the airfoil is going to become the wing seat. Ah, uh, so that's that going to sit on the fuselage. Yeah. But I'm worried that that angle has to be exactly where the airfoil is going to sit on the edge. 
otherwise we get the angle wrong. Okay, right, well, so using that... Well, we have to um, make sure it's sticking out more than the table. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now I get it. So that's going to be used to get exactly the right angle. Yeah. Hang it over the edge and Hang cut it, it with a hot edge. wire. We're about to apply electricity. some power to the hot wire, which is going to drop perfectly vertically. Right, so let's stop bouncing around. That sounds better. Uh, it's humming. This is good. Oh, what happened? It's swaying a bit. Yeah, what happened? It's all right. It like it's, it's dropping. There she goes. Nearly through. Yay! Done. This is the off cut. So we got the uh, the top and the bottom. And that bottom is going to form part of the mount that goes that will go on the fuselage and get the incidents right for the wing. Graham sanding the uh, one of the rudder fence, tail fence, just put some more another layer of fiberglass on the nose. And I'm not sure what these guys have been doing, but they've been doing something. In a wing section. They've been. Look at that. The other one's in the block. That gives you the dihedral. So at the moment we are fiberglassing the hole for the mariner. This is the second layer of glass. I believe it's the two ounce weight glass on the um, front of the hole and we've got one layer on that rear part of the hole at the moment. We have also made up or worked on one of the tail fins. This is out of three sheets of Depron. You can see this is how we set them up, one sheet in the middle, and one sheet in the middle, and two smaller ones to either side, and then they have been sanded to shape to give us that. We've also got this nice three um, D printed plastic section, and we've got that cavity there, and um, another part that will fit into that and hold the uh, rudder servo. So you can see the idea that we've sanded this down now to form the airfoil shape for the tail fins. This was our um, paper template for that. These are the nacelle parts that you've seen earlier and they're all nicely uh, sanded now and uh, a lot more rounded than they were before. Both left and right. And in fact, the cows have been rounded the front of the nacelles. This is the uh, um, 3D printed motor and this is 3D printed um, cow that we'll be uh, using. Okay, so uh, the guy's going to turn up soon and we'll just see uh, what we can get done tonight.